the Golden Globes are over, and let's just say there was no surprise for who would win Best Drama, and let's just say there's a lot of surprise for who won for Best Comedy. Cue title scene. Ever alert, ever alert, for the first time ever, at least since I've been doing this, we have a major development in the range of making money with movies. To get these numbers through, let me begin. At number 6th place, The Hobbit with 8.25 million. Yes, that sounds like a lot. However, there is a film, two films, that have done something, like I said, I have never before recorded. Both The Legend of Hercules and American Hustle have made $8.6 million, the same amount in one weekend. One incredibly disappointing, one mildly disappointing. Continuing down the list, Wolf of Wall Street, $9 million. Frozen, $15.07 million. And coming in at number one, Lone Survivor, $38.5 million. Check these numbers out here. What could have caused such a thing? Hercules blows. Seriously, it doesn't look good, it doesn't look interesting or exciting, and as I said, it does not look good, it's not interesting, it is not exciting. Hustle, on the other hand, at least is kind of fun and alright and a good time. But, I will now use this time to bring up the true question people are asking. How did American Hustle win for Best Comedy? Seriously, Wolf of Wall Street and from the musical and inside Lewin Davis? How could this film do it? Well... The reason for that is fairly simple. The Oscars do love their true stories. Wolf of Wall Street, very testosterone, very energy-filled movie, involves a lot of sex, involves a lot of this and that, and honestly, the Hollywood foreign press, like the Academy of Arts and Sciences, they're mostly old farts who just want to see the same thing over and over and over again. So when it comes down to it, do we pick the story that shows both the good and the incredibly corrupt and bad side of the entertainment industry? Do we go with the thing that's filled with boobs, cocaine snorting out of anuses, and crazy insane money making? Or do we go with the fun yet, I give up, pretty generic, fun, overhyped movie? Let's go with the above, just about above average generic hype movie. So, that's what you expect. The Academy loves their weight. Hollywood Foreign Press. Why am I saying Academy? But that's not important. As for Lone Survivor, how did this movie make number one? Well, don't forget, it actually opened in 2013. So even though I'm not going to review it till this week, it is still technically a 2013 movie. So because of this, well, it's gotten momentum, power. People are seeing this movie, they are loving it. It's a powerful action movie. It, a lot of people say it glorifies military and all this and that. I'm hearing other things as well, that it's just a well-constructed, amazing, true adventure film. Heart-pounding, pulse-pounding, gripping, emotional. And you know what? I can't wait to see it, and apparently a lot of people couldn't either, because they made a ton of money. Guess what, Mark Wahlberg? You've improved yourself. Your January movie last year flopped miserably. Your January movie this year is doing great with its misery. And what do you think? In the comments section below, tell me what you thought of these results, what you thought of the Golden Globes last night. Try and figure out why I can't say Hollywood Foreign Press right. And as always, click here to subscribe, because hopefully I will get facts right in the future.